hey guys today we are making newborn baby burp clothes so stay tuned and watch this tutorial if you have a newborn baby you're watching momo beginner swings for further tutorials please subscribe to us and also ring this bell for further notification in your mailbox hi guys this is momo and welcome back to momo beginner sewings today we are making newborn baby burp cloth so if you are watching our newborn baby series so this one is additional information for you guys that we are making this newborn baby burp cloth with polyester batting so as you can see i have taken a very nice organic cotton fabric with uh, having a space and solar system kind of view in it as you can see this is my pattern it's 10.25 inch in double fold and as you can see it is about 20.5 in all together now uh, because due to less space i am just uh, make a double fold of my fabric and did a double fold of my pattern by the way this pattern is free of course for you guys so this is a free pattern tutorial you can download it from dresscraft.com soon and to right now you can download it from craftsy.com as well with baby bib pattern i am mapping my fabric on the I'm just mapping my pattern over the fabric and going to start cutting soon. So let us start. We are just done with our cutting on the fabric. So as I have already told you that our baby burp cloth is uh, having a polyester batting. So we just need to have uh, adjusted to it. So as you can see, I have taken a rectangular piece and it is uh, equivalent to the burp size, uh, which is 10.25 in on double fold. So I'm just going to map it here as you can see it should be equivalent and if you want to be a little bit more wider so you can take it a, a batting polyester with a cotton polyester as well as uh, whatever you want to be I'm done with my cutting and as you can see this is my final piece I'm just opening it and it is uh, it is very nicely done pattern now I'm covering it with my second piece so basically we need our two pieces which needs to be covered on the polyester batting and if you want it to be a little bit wider you can use a double polyester batting or a cotton batting, uh, cotton batting as well now i am starting with my sewing procedure you can see that i am just going to have a little bit pinning over here otherwise it going to be move so what we i am going to do i am just going to have a single seam so basically i am starting with quilting process so do whatever creative thing you want to do i'm just doing my one so i am done with my first seam of quilt and it is taken uh, it is divided the half of the piece and now i am doing a second seam which is uh, dividing it uh, in a width 
and this is a very basic step of quilting if you are beginner and don't know how to do quilting just follow the my step i am not a uh, so expert in quilting so i'm just uh, making some uh, guesswork over here and i've just uh, as you can see two inch far from the last one of the quilt and this is followed by a step over here and you did a very nice clean quilting without having any expertise in it As you can see I am done with my quilting and now I'm going to apply this bias tape over here. Uh, this is a simple bias tape and I'm just going to have it is a 1.5 in inch width and I'm just going to deploy it in a very uh, in a single way and just going to attach it from the edge. As you can see it is not a pre-made bias uh, by step double fold by step because I'm going to do a different decorating with it first of all let me complete the edge side seam with it Okay, as it is, I'm going to revert it from there and going to seam it like that. And this is our final view. Let me complete this f uh, one first. So our edge is joined. Now I am going to have a press on it and make it a double fold, uh, single fold bias. As you can see, I've just did a very nice pressing on it. You can see that. And now what I, the thing is remaining, I'm just going to s do a single seam along with the edges if you are not comfortable with this step, I'm going to link my bias tape folder making so you can watch that tutorial and deploy that on this one
I'm just going to complete my bias stave attaching. So this tutorial is having uh, only three steps. Number one is cutting, number two is quilting, or and number third one is attaching the bias tape on the edges. So hope you guys like this tutorial and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to us thank you so much i hope you like this tutorial please subscribe to us like this video and share this video as well see you soon